the past 30 years, Mozambique was hit by more than 45 natural disasters. Because of its geographical position, with a long coastline towards an instable region of the Indian Ocean, in a zone of extreme rainfall fluctuation, the country is in particular prone to tropical storms and flooding. In the future, the climate change is going to worsen the situation. Considering the outcomes of the last assessments of an International Council of Climate Change experts, Mozambique is going to feel the consequences of climate change even more. There will be more drought periods, flooding and cyclones and they will intensify. Social factors play a role in the vulnerability of the people. Mozambique is one of the poorest countries in the world with a high illiteracy rate, bad infrastructure when it comes to transportation and communication. Many people rely on subsistence farming and in case of flooding, droughts or cyclones, they are particularly at risk. To strengthen the population's ability to protect themselves, the National Disaster Management Institute of Mozambique INGC, implemented a program in 2007 with assistance of INVENT, a German organization focusing on capacity building and the financial support of the German Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The program, which is part of the official 10-year National Master Plan for Disaster Risk Management and Reduction of the INGC, consisted mainly in building up an efficient local warning and response system. A number of the most vulnerable communities were identified and encouraged to form local disaster management committees of 20 to 25 people. One of these communities is Mililuka in the Lago district of the northern province Niasa. Members have specific roles and are trained in different fields of disaster reduction. Some members ensure that crucial information reaches vulnerable population, authorities and relief agencies. Others are trained in evacuation, first aid, shelter and relief. Our experience is that in all communities where local disaster management committees were created, the people are better organized and educated to respond to early warning messages. The experiences we gained are very positive and need a follow-up. One of the things we can learn from uh, the experience in places like Bangladesh and Tunisia and Mozambique is that you don't have to be a wealthy country to have an appropriate response to hazards. You just have to uh, react responsibly and intelligently with respect to the hazard you face. You have to act uh, for the good of the community as a whole and, and not just for a few individuals within that community. One of the biggest rewards and returns in disaster reduction is achieved when schools and children are involved. Making disaster risk education an integral part of the national school's curriculum builds greater awareness of the issues across entire communities. Education at all levels, primary, secondary, higher education, trades and professional learning possibilities are all absolutely essential for a sustained understanding within a society of better preparing people for disaster risks. The example and the experience in Mozambique is, is very noteworthy and has a lot of lessons for other countries in the world. A partnership between the INGC, INVENT and the Ministry of Education and Culture has been established in order to integrate disaster risk reduction in the school's curriculum. Illustrated information material is being distributed nationwide with the daily newspaper Noticias. The main thing or the main strength I can see is really the good coordination between the government and the stakeholder and of course the work in field. Ms. Chilundu is the director of the four operative disaster centers where all state institutions and other partners work together in the field of disaster risk management. Those four centers also coordinate the national simulation exercises. 
The simulations show how well prepared the local people are for a case of emergency and how they understand to react on the information from the early warning system. The simulations furthermore test the flow of information between the regions, their control center and the National Disaster Management Center in the capital. It checks how all partners interact. They are important to double check the gained knowledge and to reinforce it. The whole community is involved. The local committee, the traditional leaders, officials, administrators, teachers and students. The general director of the INGC, Mr. Ribeiro and his team, analyzed the results right after the simulation by means of video footage in the regional center of Nankala. The observed simulations of disasters provide much needed and highly useful opportunities to put theory into practice. The National Disaster Management Institute of Mozambique, INGC, has a new philosophy of action. In the past, the INGC was only working in an emergency situation without taking care of prevention aspects. The new strategy is prevention. With an early warning system, based on a national emergency plan where all stakeholders involved in the emergency activities are integrated to respond to national disaster events. This interaction between local communities, government and stakeholders helps to reduce the negative impact of disasters. This partnership gained solidity in the past two years with very positive results. The Mozambican government holds ambitious plans to face the new challenges arising from climate change. In the past years, the country made significant progress in disaster risk management. Indicators are not only the significant decline of numbers of casualties. In 2000-2001, uh, more than uh, 600 people were killed. And, um, and this year, less than 10 people were killed. So it's, it's difficult to relate all that to the, to the efforts, but obviously the, the work that was done by the government in, in, in preparing uh, the population and in preparing themselves to respond to the, the, the need of the population uh, were, were great. The political will of the country, as well at provincial and district level, to mobilize the population to take care of themselves as far as possible is noticeable. During the simulation exercise in Choco District, the Minister for Public Administration, Lucas Chomera, was assuring himself about the efficiency of the early warning system. With that specific simulation, we aim to test the readiness for action of all partners in case of disaster. It is concerning the early warning system, the evacuation provisions, in cooperation with the local committees and the rescue teams in case the people don't react on warnings.